The warm weather in Moscow, a blessing for some on the streets, but little else here in the way of good news. Russia's ruble falling to five-month lows, even as prices for utilities and goods remain the same or rise. Western sanctions are squeezing Muscovites and their fellow countrymen. It's the oil price, though, that's the real worry. ING chief economist for Russia, Dmitry Polovoy. The continued decline in oil prices to nearly $50 per barrel today is the biggest factor behind the ruble depreciation because that is why uh, the ruble is, is trying to compensate for the weakness in, in oil and one of the indicators we may uh, look at in order to assess the, the behavior of the ruble is to look at the ruble denominated oil price. It's oversupply that's bashing Brent. OPEC oil output hit new highs in July, according to a Reuters survey. But Chinese data, too, concerning. Manufacturing growth unexpectedly stalled last month, leaving crude on course for its weakest third quarter performance since the financial crisis. Copper prices also crumbling on the news, hitting their lowest since July 2009. Aluminium, zinc, tin and nickel, all also punished by the Chinese slowdown.